We are a 41-year-old hospital here in Charleston uh, that serves the greater Charleston area. We actually serve about 500,000 in population. So our community is quite large and we have 313 beds as well as all the major services that uh, our community would need. Because of the growth that we're seeing in the community and the success that we've seen with our efficiency in the ER and quality of care, we are the busiest ER in the low country, seeing about 200 patients a day. So we've embarked on an expansion project. We're expanding our ER by about 20% to be able to better serve our patients. So we're excited about that. We have about 20 different specialists that are on call every day for our community. Everything from neurosurgery to oral surgery and everything in between. We actually have a large component of our medical staff that stays in the hospital and they work shifts, but they're here 24 seven. And that's in the area of trauma, as well as hospitalists and intensivists. Our trauma surgeons are a very dedicated group, well-trained, actually double board certified in critical care as well as general surgery. And they're here to meet every trauma need that could come in the door at any given moment. So we have seen that trauma surgery service really grow as we've been able to add those specialists to be in-house. I mean, what you see with cardiac issues and stroke issues as well as trauma issues is you need that care team to be ready and available. And time is health, so the quicker we can get those needed treatments to those patients, the better off they're going to be. There's national standards that say that you should have a cardiac cath stenting procedure within 90 minutes of your chest pain. We do that. We perform those procedures in under 60 minutes. And same with stroke. Time is brain tissue, and we want to make sure that we have the available specialist. The continuum of care is very important these days, too, because we certainly don't want to see our patients discharged from here and maybe readmitted shortly thereafter. So we have to work closely with the post-acute setting, your nursing homes, your home health agencies, and we're having them at the table consistently as well so that we can plan those care efforts. We want to be known for our care, our compassion that we show our patients, and that competency. You combine those three C's and we're going to do a good job of hitting our mission statement. And that mission statement of creating a caring environment where healing occurs is something that we live every day. And it's not always easy. Patients come to us in sometimes their worst days and their most critical state that they're in. But we've got to be on our game every day, every minute with every patient. And it doesn't happen without great staff and great physicians. And we're working really hard every day to make sure that the quality is as high as it can be for the most efficient cost um, possible.